Good to see you. It's Jackie again. Today we're going to talk a little bit about self-care. Now many of you have um, many of the items that I'm going to be talking to you about today um, because you've either purchased them from me or I've used them uh, within your session. So I'm a big believer in using things that we already have but in different ways to get more bang for your buck. So let's see how we can enhance what we already have. Um, I wanted to talk also about the last newsletter that we had. The article was Healthy Sleep Positions and there was a lot of um, good conversation about that and how restorative sleep is just so paramount. That's where we reboot our system. That's where we heal and recuperate and do maintenance. That's where all that stuff happens is in restorative sleep. And it's just so crucial to have that opportunity to sleep well. And it's important that we take those few minutes before we actually fall asleep to put our bodies in neutral, meaning that you're not holding tension anywhere in your body and that your body is as comfortable as it possibly can be before you fall asleep. So, um, I want to make, uh, we're going to talk also about um, using heat, soothing heat. Ice is typically used for new or acute issues. Heat is often used for ongoing or chronic issues. And that's what we're going to talk about today too, is, is the heat factor. You can use the pillows that I have. Uh, you can put them in the freezer, but I tend to use them more for heat and I tend to use ice in other ways. So that's what we're going to do. Um, you've seen the video before of me talking about how to do a castor oil pack and my favorite pillow, aromatherapy pillow, for doing a castor oil pack is this heart-shaped pillow. And the reason for that is, as I just demonstrated in that um, how to do a castor oil pack uh, video is that because when you're laying down it just fits so nicely over the liver area and if you have some kind of chest congestion or whatever you can bring it up to the upper chest or put it this way so it's just a super pillow for doing that and then I always heat them if you do you can heat them in two different ways one way would be in the microwave the other way would be in your oven at home uh, for example, if I know I'm going to do a castor oil pack at, at night when I come home from work, I'll pop my pillows into my oven at warm or 150 to 170 degrees, maybe for a couple of hours, and then they'll be nice and warm and they retain that heat for a long, long time. So let's look at, at the heart-shaped pillow again. Let, how can I use that another way? And I'm getting ready to go to sleep. What if, see when I just tuck the point there and roll it up like this, suddenly it has now become a neck pillow, a warm supportive neck pillow. A lot of people have neck issues, so going to sleep or even taking a nap with heat in a supportive manner like that, you can imagine your neck over that, it would just feel wonderful. The essential oils that you might want to use for... Um, putting as a neck pillow would be something, let's say, for relaxing or insomnia or something. So some oils that you might want to just put a drop or two over because the, the heat of it will diffuse it naturally and you'll be smelling it and taking it in. So lavender would work, chamomile, ylang ylang, bergamot, geranium as a few examples. Now picture if your head is over here and now you've got the sinus pack and perhaps you're going to put, use the sinus pack either because you're congested, maybe you have a sinus headache, or, or you can't sleep. And so if your neck is here and you put that over here, the, oil, the herbs that are in this already are um, ones that are helpful with breathing and opening the nasal passages. But you can add your own as well, anytime you want to, to change that up a bit. Another pillow that is uh, dual purpose, here we've got, it's called the large trigger point pillow and you can see that its use would be to be put over your shoulders like this. The thing you do not want to do with this one 
is hang it over your neck. So what you would be doing in that case is you would be putting all the weight on the base of your neck and pulling those muscles back down where they don't need to be. So you want the weight to be on the top of your scapula or your shoulder blades right at that point there. The heat will radiate its way up your neck and down your shoulders and upper back as well. So be sure not to put that excess weight on your neck. So now how else could I use this pillow? If I, instead of being a horseshoe, if I were to go like that and lay down again face up, once again it's a neck pillow and I can drape it over the tops of my shoulders like that. So there, so what I really want to show you is that there are many ways to use what we already have. So we don't have to buy more stuff, we can just get more bang for our buck. Um, also wanted, because I had questions about other things you could put in your castor oil pack, so we talked a little bit about some oils that you could use for insomnia or stress. If you wanted to add some uh, a choice of oil to your castor oil pack, maybe you're dealing with issues of inflammation, you could use clove, jasmine, juniper, myrrh, nutmeg, peppermint, thyme, or lemongrass. As an example, those are not the only ones. For any kind of digestive issue, you might want to try cinnamon bark, clary sage, cypress, ginger, or peppermint. And a lot of the essential oils have multiple therapeutic applications as well. So we can talk more about that another time. Um, so what you would do then is just take a few drops of that essential oil, add it to your castor oil and as you apply it, and it will have a, another layer of therapy there. So the last thing I wanted to remind you about, because a lot of you also have some of my guided imageries, these are, I have three different hour-long guided imageries. One is reducing stress. The other one is detoxifying the body. And the other one is releasing pain. Now we also sell those three different imageries in a condensed version which last about 15 minutes each. But if you wanted to have a timed healing therapeutic nap, then while you've gone through all this trouble, the heat behind your neck, sinus pillow, castor oil pack, in neutral position, maybe you want to take an hour off and listen to a guided imagery. So you could do that by just playing one of these in the background as you're resting and then it will wake you up after an hour. So that that's a beautiful way of doing some self-care. So I hope that you have found this helpful and next time we are going to be talking about nasal irrigation, the options that you might have and what would be best for you and different issues that you can that that can help. So thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.